Hey, what's going on, Trap Watchers? Today is September 4th, 2021. We're going to talk about stock mode. You guys can see it. The video is right here on YouTube still of him garnering a price prediction for workhorse. You guys can see even in the title, huge potential. So he's obviously was looking for the price in workhorse to go exceedingly higher than where it was on the November the 2nd. We're going to break that down. We're going to talk about why so many people try to get you to hold on to your stock positions for five. 10, 15 years only for you to appreciate the value of the stock. We're going to talk about this. We're going to see where the price in workhorse has gone since this video was posted on YouTube to see if it's actually accurate in this huge potential that he has titled on this video. So join us, buckle in, hit the like button, share me, also subscribe to the channel because one thing you will see or you will not see on YouTube is these individuals coming back and give me all an update on what price has done since they created these videos especially if it goes against their original prediction so we're going to come through and we're going to dive on into it and give you all what has occurred in the market versus these individuals videos because they're not doing it so someone needs to come in and kind of substantiate okay how well are they predicting these prices stock mo is not going to be the exception so check this out this video was posted on november 2nd 2020 now i have nothing against this individual Right. I'm just looking at the performance of his stock pick. He recommended workhorse has huge potential of going higher. So I'm just going to look at the price for what it is and let's see if it's actually accurate. OK, because there's only two things and these two things, these YouTubers did not explain to you. One, they don't tell you at what price to exit out your position or two, they don't tell you at what time period. Those are the only two ways that you can leave the market. Either you leave at a certain price, once the stock hit a certain price, you'll exit at that level. Or two, if you're in it for a time period, you would you leave the market in the next year, next three years, next 15 years, next 20 years? It doesn't even matter where the price is. As long as the market is tradable in the next 10 years, you'll exit out your position. Those are the only two ways that you can leave the market, right? And no YouTubers tell you that. They only give you a time period. No one gives you a exit price as to where they would exit out their position. So I wanted to see because I read this description on this video and I couldn't find out where or how would he exit out the market in workhorse. Was he looking to see the price hit a certain price level and then he would exit out or would he hold on to the market for the long term? Right. So I didn't see that. And I find it quite odd that he doesn't have the comments on on this particular video as well. So I found the next video that he talked about workhorse. So this video was posted on YouTube on the very 2nd, 2020. This one was posted on the 14th. So not long after, and he is still pumping the value of workhorse, massive workhorse stock price prediction update, November the 14th. Now it was here, okay, that I found that he was talking about a time period of how long he's willing to hold this stock, right? And it's right here. The workhorse stock price prediction is going to go much higher, in my opinion, over the next three to five years. So three years, all right? He's looking to exit out the position in workhorse. Now, I want you all to listen to something before I break down to what price has done in workhorse, right? Let's take a listen to see what he mentioned on this video right here. I just took a small clip out of this video right here about how well he felt about workhorse. So let's just listen real quick the days and i want to tell you something for those here remember amazon when they worked their way up jeff bezos you know he said it's for the long term and that we are here for the long term bear with me you will be rewarded down the road i think workhorse could be that company that it, you know we stay with them i'm a long-term investor with workhorse i'll be staying with them well after any announcement with the contract i just want to see how they do i'm a big fan and i think uh i think they'll do well and I like the growth I'm seeing. I like where they're going. It's just, it's a, it's a feel good story and I like to be a part of it. So there are. So it was a feel good story. He wants you all to be emotional and feel good about workhorse. It's cool. No problems, right? It's all about how you feel. It's not about anything substantial, anything credible against the price chart. Nothing in regards of this revenue is earnings reports, yada, yada, EBITDA, whatever you guys do in terms of fundamental analysis. It's just a feel good. He just feels good long term because I want you all to see 
when he created that video in Workhorse on November 2nd, right? This is where the price closed on November 2nd, right here. Now, kudos, the market price since that day the video was posted to YouTube shot up 168% right there. The market went from $16 all the way up there to around $43 right here on February the 4th, 2021. That is where you could have grabbed the bag. That is where your profit was maximized right there. Take a look at it. Fantastic call for you to be in the market on November 2nd and then for you to exit out your position at 43, you would have gotten 168% from the trap right there. Now, since that time, look at where the price in Workhorse is now. It's at $9. So rather than being up, maximize your profit at 168%, you'll be down now 44, almost 45% in Workhorse, right? Big deal. That's a big difference, right? It's a massive difference as to where we were in February to where we are now in September. Now, he said three to five years. Okay, cool. Anything can happen into the market and workhorse over the next three to five years, right? Take a look. 2011, you guys can see that this price in workhorse has been trading. So this price history in workhorse has not been higher. Above $10. It's been trading from 2011, 2010. We didn't break out of this $10 range until July 2020. From 2011 to 2020, nine years, this price has been trading below that. But he's feel good about it. He feels good about workhorse. If we ever break below $10, okay, which we are now, what make you think in the next five years? that this price is going to be exceedingly higher than where it was in February 2021. Seriously. So now the only option you have now is just to say, I got three years. I got five years just to let this play out. So hopefully see there go that word again. Hopefully we can see this market price come back up to where at least I can get break even at $16 from November the second. At least I need a break even, right? See, this, I just wanted to show you all how it's very important for you to go in with a game plan. If you're holding the stock for the next five years, okay, cool. But you don't know where price is going to be. I've already shown you that the history for Workhorse goes all the way back to 2011. And we didn't break $10 for another nine years. Nine whole years, this price has just been traded between $10 all the way back down 46 cents. Nine. So you got three to five years to at least let this market come back up to a 16 to where you can break even. Now, I want you all to understand that when you come into these markets, you need to come in with an exit strategy as well. You need to have either a price in mind as to where you'll take the bag or have a time period. If you're going to be in for three months, then exit out the position in three months. It doesn't matter where the price is. But so often we get hung up on where price is that we hold on. Hoping that in the next couple of months, the next couple of years, that we can at least recoup the losses that we've garnered. That is not how you need to play these markets, because understandably, they don't care about us. How the market works, they're coming in to devour us and take our money. So you need to make sure that you come in these markets with a game plan and see it for what it is. Because now, seeing how the market in Workhorse has completely collapsed and that everyone else was drumming up on that United States Postal Service contract that they was trying to get, since that now is gone, what else can you play on? Because this is why the market in Workhorse went as high as $43, because many people was playing on the hopes that they was going to get that contract and bring in more money. Well, now that's done. What's next, right? What's the next thing that you're going to harp on that you're going to zero in on and try to use that as a catalyst to increase the price? What's next? I want to know. I just want you all to pay attention to these things because no other YouTuber is coming back and giving you all an update on these prices, especially the ones that go against their original prediction. You guys heard them. It's a feel good story, right? 
So I guess he still feels good that he's currently down 45%. I don't know. All right, I just wanted to show you all this. Now, I'm done. I wanna know, what do you all think about the price and workhorse? Where do you think the market's gonna go in the next 100 years? Yeah, I mean, you might have some people out there that's willing to hold these stocks for 100 years. Let me know. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And again, hit us up. Join our team. Join our community. This is relatively simple and easy. If you want to learn more, we're here. Peace. Trade different.